in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. For by Him all things were created, things in heaven and things on earth, visible and invisible. Whether rulers or thrones or powers or authorities, all things were created by Him and for Him. He is before all things, and in Him all things hold together. Let there be light! Let there be sky! Let there be land! Let there be trees and plants of every kind! Let there be sun, moon, stars! Let the sky be filled with birds of every kind. Let the sea be filled with fish of every kind. Let the land produce animals of every kind. was life, and that life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not understood it. I will ascend to heaven. I will raise my throne above the stars of God. And I will make myself like the Most High. You are free! from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of knowledge, good and evil. For if you do, you'll surely die. But it's not good for you to be alone. I'll make a helper suitable for you.
God saw all that he had made, and it was very good. <laughs> you smell good. You smell good, too. <laughs> <laughs> tickle, tickle. <laughs> I have a song to teach you. A song? Good. Dancing in the garden is good. <laughs> Living in the garden, living in the garden is good, so good. Good, dancing in the garden is good. Singing in the garden is good. Living in the garden, living in the garden is good, so good. Good, dancing in the garden is good. Garden is good. Living in the garden, living in the garden is good, so good. Good. Dancing in the garden is good. Singing in the garden is good. Living in the garden, living in the garden is good, so good. Let's learn a new song. Now you see it, now you don't There's a world I'd like for you to know Now you see it, now you don't There's a world I'd like for you to know You'll know magic. <laughs> You'll know power. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Did God really say you can't eat from any tree in the garden? Well, no. We can eat from all the trees, except for the tree of knowledge, or we'll die. <laughs> You will not die. You will become like God, knowing good and evil. You want to be like God, don't you? Oh, well, yes. Perfect. <laughs> Come with me. Where are we going? I have a gift. What is it? It's beautiful and delicious. Now you see it. Go ahead, take a bite.
Adam, where are you? I heard you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid. Who told you you were naked? Did you eat from the tree of knowledge? She gave it to me. How could you do this? It was him. He deceived me. You! You were cursed because of this. Because of you. I'm declaring war between you and the woman. One day her offspring will crush your head and you will bite his heel. Daddy! Daddy! Daddy. No! You will know the pain of love and the pain of life. Death. No. And the pain no. of the breath. And I can show you all of their kingdoms. No, please. In all their splendor. So go ahead. Pick a kingdom. They're all mine. I will kill. No, no, please, Come here, my dear. No. I will steal. No, you can't. No. I will destroy. Welcome to my will and to the world that I have made. And the Lord looked and saw how great the wickedness of the human race had increased upon the earth, and how every inclination of the thoughts of the human heart were only evil all the time. And the Lord was grieved that he had made man, and his heart was deeply troubled. But there was one man who was still following after God, his name was Noah. I'm sorry that I've made them. This is a ruined creation, a ruined kingdom. I'm going to destroy the earth and everything in it. Noah, build yourself a large boat and take your family and two of every animal within. My promise is with you. What are you building, Noah? <laughs> you crazy fool! There isn't water for miles. How's that thing gonna float? How is that mammoth of a boat gonna float, Noah? Tell me. What? <laughs> There's no god big enough to destroy the whole earth. And with a flood? What is a flood? You're crazy fool, Noah. And everyone knows it. What are all those animals for? Am I the only one who thinks this is completely crazy? Uh, what's that? Wait. <laughs> this is your water? This is the thing that's going to float that boat. You're crazier than I thought. Right? 
Noah. Is this what you were talking about? Is this your flood? I think I believe you now. Noah, did you hear me? I said, I think I believe you now. So let me in. Noah, please. Please let me in. Noah. Never again. I promise. As long as the earth endures, seed time, harvest, summer, winter, cold and heat, day and night, these things will never cease. And whenever I see my rainbow in the clouds, I'll remember my promise to never destroy the earth by water again. Noah, go and be fruitful, you and your people. Increase in number and fill the earth again. And time passed, and families and nations rose up all over the earth, but some had forgotten about God. But there was one old man who was staring at the stars one night, wishing that he had a child, but his wife was buried. Abraham, take your wife Sarah and go to a country I will show you. I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you, and all the earth will be blessed through you. I believe what God has said. Go with me, Sarah, to a foreign land. Many years have passed without a child. God has forgotten me. Take my servant and have your child. And so Abraham took Hagar, and he had a child with her. By this time next year, Sarah will bear you a son. <laughs> if only Ishmael might live under your blessing. <laughs> yes, but Sarah will bear you a son, and you will call him Isaac. And as for Ishmael, I will surely bless him. But my promise is with Isaac. And God did give Sarah a son, and she was 90 years old. And they called the baby Isaac, which means laughter. Abraham and Sarah loved watching little Isaac as he grew, until one day, Isaac became a young man. Abraham, take your son, your only son whom you love, and go to the mountains and sacrifice him there as a burnt offering to me. So Abraham and Isaac sat out on that journey. Abraham reasoned in his mind that God could raise the dead. So he bound his son, laid him on the altar, and raise the knife. Abraham, do not lay a hand on the boy. Now I know that you truly fear me, for you have not withheld from me your son, your only son. And Abraham looked and saw a ram caught by its horns in the bush. And Abraham offered the ram instead. And he called that place, on the mountain of the Lord, it will be provided. And Abraham and Isaac came down that mountain and Isaac enjoyed many years. He got married, and his wife Rebecca bore him twin sons. And the younger of the twins was a man known as Jacob. And he was the one who wrestled with God for a blessing. Oh, and he got it, and a new name, because God no longer just called him Jacob after that. You will be called Israel, and my promise is with you. Now Jacob, or Israel, was quite a character. 
He was a man who had children by four different women, so he had 12 sons. But he loved one of his wives, Rachel, more than the others. So he loved the sons that Rachel bore him more than the others. One of them was a boy <laughs> named Joseph, and Jacob wanted to show him the full extent of his love by making him a coat of many colors. Hey guys, what you doing? Catch the sack. <laughs> Over here. Yeah, I'm so I'm so so well, like, boy, you can't catch a thing, spending too much time in your study. Oh, come on, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Come come <laughs> Gather round, everybody. Gather round. Come here, come here. Joseph, your mom and I got a gift for you. Try this on. Wow. Thank you. You're welcome. It's amazing. This coat makes me feel like a king. Like that'll ever happen. You are no king. Wait. Come on. No, that's not what I meant at all. It was just a dream. Joseph, it's all right. They're your brothers, and, and we're all a family. Just... Head down to the field and finish up your work. Nice coat. It was just a dream. Yeah, well, we didn't like your dream. Well, hey, don't hurt him. I mean, I know he's annoying, but he's still our brother. Not anymore. What? Dad gave me the coat. I know. But I don't want to see it or you again. Slave for sale! Why so? What? What are you doing? Stop, stop them! Get moving, slave. mine now. You work for me. Run this house. Joseph, you work for me now. So work for me. No. Joseph, come to bed with me. No, that would be a sin against God. How dare you refuse what I want? <laughs> My darling, who did this? Uh, it was him. How could you? I trusted you. And this is how you repay me? You will rot in prison. I've been dreaming terrifying dreams oh. What do they mean? I have no idea. Off of the head! Okay. What do they mean? I don't know, but I know someone who does. Go! Your dream means that Egypt will enjoy seven years of plenty. Interesting. And seven years of famine. What? So you should start stocking up. But I will put you in charge of that. You'll be second, but only to me. And the famine came just as Joseph predicted. But under his wise leadership, Egypt was preserved. But meanwhile, Jacob and his sons were starving. So he sent his sons on the journey to Egypt so they could buy grain. And as soon as his brothers arrived in Egypt, Joseph recognized them, but they did not recognize him. I am your brother, Joseph. Do not be afraid, and don't be angry at yourselves. For it was to save lives that God sent me ahead of you. It was not you who sent me here, but God. Please, bring my father to me.
and the land of Egypt was filled with Israel. Remember the promise, Israel, from the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac. And remember the promise, Israel. La 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 la, hey, la 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 la, la la. <laughs> Remember the promise, Israel. Remember the promise, Israel. From the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and remember the promise, Israel. La 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 la, la 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 la, la la. And then a new king, who did not know about Joseph, came to power in Egypt. And he feared the Israelites and dealt harshly with them. He oppressed them, forcing them into slavery. He dealt with them ruthlessly, making their lives bitter. He finally gave the order to kill every baby boy born to the nation of Israel. One woman placed her baby in a basket and into the Nile River. Pharaoh's daughter found the baby and named him Moses. And although Moses grew up in Pharaoh's house, he came to despise the Egyptians and the cruel treatment of his people. He killed an Egyptian, and then he fled to the wilderness. Take off your shoes, Moses, for the place where you're standing is holy. I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and I am concerned about their suffering. They've come to rescue them and bring them out of Egypt into the promised land, a land flowing with milk and honey. So go now, I am sending you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. What do I say? What if they don't believe me? I'm so weak. Take this staff in your hands and perform miraculous signs. I am, God of I am has sent me to you. He says, I have watched over you and I have seen what has been done to you in Egypt. I promise to bring you up out of your misery and into a land flowing with milk and honey. I will free you from being slaves. I will redeem you with an outstretched arm and mighty acts of judgment. I will take you as my people. The Lord, the God of the Hebrews, has sent me to you to say, let my people go, so they may worship me. Who is the Lord that I should obey and let Israel go? I do not know the Lord, so I will not let them go. If you refuse to let them go, I will plague this whole land with blood. No, I will not let them go. With darkness. No, I will not. Yield with locusts. I will not let Israel go. And every firstborn son in Egypt will die. Up. Go. Leave my people. And pray a blessing upon us. Moses, lead the people to the edge of the Red Sea. There you need only be still and I will fight for you. The water saw you, O oh God. They saw you and they writhed. Your path led through the sea, your way through the mighty waters. I am Who is the Lord that I should obey? I am Who is the Lord that I should obey? Who is the Lord that I should obey? Who?
We're saved. God is with us. So, where are we going to sleep tonight? I'm hungry. I don't know. <laughs> well, then is this deliverance? Because I'm still afraid. And Israel was free. Free to trust in a God that they didn't know. To lead them to some place they had never been. And God stayed close to them while they wrestled to understand his ways. He led them with a cloud by day and warmed them with a fire by night. As he led them step by step, straight through a wilderness. We should have stayed in Egypt. At least there we wouldn't have starved. I will rain bread down from heaven for you. Moses, give us water. Moses, strike the rock and water will come from it so that the people may drink. In this miraculous way, Israel was provided for in a wilderness. God's presence came and lived among the people. And whenever his presence would move, the people would pack up their tents and move with him. And in this way, God led them safely through the wilderness and straight to the edge of the land that he promised to give Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Moses. Go up now and take possession of the land I'm about to give you. Do not be afraid and do not be discouraged, for I am with you. The Lord is ready to give us the land he's promised us. Go up now and take possession of it. Uh, Mr. Moses, I was thinking. What? Maybe if we send in a couple spies just to make sure we can actually take it, you know? Yeah, but if they're giants, <gasps> then what? And what if they're more powerful than us? Have you forgotten that God is with us? Well, he's, he's the one who has to go up there and look up pig lane. Enough! As surely as I live, every one of you who have grumbled against me will die in this desert. Only Joshua, Caleb, and your children after you will have the land. And I am the Lord your God. You shall have. to their forefathers to give them. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous, for I am the Lord your God, and I am with you.
be afraid. Though the armies who have gathered against you are many, they will not be able to withstand you. I've given them into your hands. So go now, for I am with you, and I am the Lord your God. anymore. You know what we need? We need a king. Well, unfortunately, it didn't take Israel long to grow discontent in the promised land. And so God raised up a prophet to speak for him. Samuel, give them what they asked for. They're not rejecting you. They're rejecting me. Samuel, anoint David as my new king. No, I am the first and the last. There is no other God besides me. Who then is like the Lord Almighty? And who is it that makes idols? And nothing. The treasures that they value are worthless. The blacksmith takes a hammer and he shapes a form in human likeness and bows down to it and worships it. But he cannot save him. And neither can he save himself. It is a lie. My soul sings, sings for you alone. And God still cried out to the nation of Israel through the voice of so many prophets. One of them was named Hosea. And sometimes Israel would listen, but many times she wanders far away. forgotten who has provided for her, that I was the one who provided for her. Instead, she has dressed herself in necklaces and jewelry, chased after other lovers, but me she has forgotten. But I will speak tenderly to her, and I'll restore her fortunes. I'll turn her place of trouble into a door of hope. Hosea, go and take yourself a wife who is a prostitute and have children of unfaithfulness with her, for the land is guilty of the vilest adultery. My people have chased after other lovers, but me... They have forgotten.
Gomer, will you marry me? <laughs> no. Gomer, will you marry me? Stop it. Gomer, please, will you marry me? You're being serious. Yes. And I will love you forever with compassion and faithfulness for all the days of my life. Hosea, go and show your love to your wife again. Though she's an adulteress, and though she's loved by another, you must love her as the Lord loves Israel. Come home to me, come home to me. Four hundred years have passed since the last prophet of Israel spoke for God. And in all of that silence, the teachers of the law were clinging to their religious traditions while they waited for the promised Messiah. And the people were waiting and longing and looking for hope. What do you think you're doing? Darling, you put your head down. You're doing it wrong, okay? Son, you need to try harder. Come on, keep moving. And you, what do you think you're doing? You need to look at yourself. Watch yourself. You look ridiculous. Heads must stay down at all times. <sighs> You'll never measure up. Be afraid, for you are favored by God, and you are to give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. How is this to be? I am a virgin. The Holy Spirit will come down upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you, so that the child to be born will be called the Son of God. I am his humble servant. May it be to me as you have said. For God as he has made a way to save us, he is Jesus, Jesus. He has not for God as he has made a way to save us, he is Jesus, Jesus.
Jesus grew and became a man. And when he entered into the temple, he baffled the teachers of the law. You put your head down, okay? And God raised up a prophet to go before his son. His name was John the Baptist. Pair the way for the Lord. Make straight paths for him. Every valley will be filled in. Every mountain and hill made low. The crooked roads will become straight. The rough ways made smooth again. And all mankind will see God's salvation. This is my son whom I love. With him I am well pleased. He has not forgot us, he has made a way to save us, he is Jesus, Jesus. We give glory he has not to God, God. Us. we he give has made glory a way to, to God, save we give him glory, Jesus. we give him glory, Jesus. we give he glory has not to God, us. we have made a way to save us, we give him the Spirit of the Lord is on me because He has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to release the oppressed and proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. You want to learn a new dance? I beg your pardon? There's another one. <laughs> you stop watching. You put your head down. All of you, look at yourselves. Lord, Lord, I couldn't see your dance. I can't see at all. I can't see. Did he just spit in her eye? Oh. I can see. I can see. She can see. <laughs> How is that possible? It's it is a lie. Huh? It is a trick. It's a miracle. You oh, stop watching. You look away. All of you, look at yourselves. What oh. is that? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Dancing. <laughs> Can you do this? <laughs> Good try. <laughs> Who touched me? I have. No, someone has touched me. I know that power has gone out. <laughs> it was me. I was sick, but now I'm, I'm healed. Your faith has healed you. Ha! What do you want with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Be quiet! Come out of him! He commands evil spirits. Oh my. Teacher, this woman has been caught in the very act of adultery. Such people should be stoned. Those of you without sin, throw the first stone. You must be new here. Go your way and sin no more. I want you to follow me. But how? With the dance. Wait, like I this? I don't know about this. So, okay, so this way. And I don't know where. Way. Hopping. What does this um, happen to us? It's not feel good. It's been a four. Oh, okay. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Let's go to the other side. The Lord, the waves will surely drown. Oh, oh no. no. Shh. Did that wave just bow down to you? Where is your faith? If you had faith the size of a mustard seed, you could say to that mountain, throw yourself into the sea, and it will be done. Tell me this, teacher. When is the kingdom of God coming? Well, the kingdom does not come visibly, nor will people say here it is or there it is. Because the kingdom of God comes inside you.
But Jesus, how does the kingdom get in me? Let me tell you a story. <gasps> I love stories. What's a story? Come on. Farm went out to sow his seed. As he was scattering the seed, some fell on the path. Here? Mm-hmm. And the mm. birds came. Be a bird. bird. And ate it right up. I don't see no birds. Caw, caw, gobble, gobble. Oh, some seed Ooh. fell on the rocky ground where there was not much soil. It sprang up quickly because the soil was shallow. But when the sun came up, hey, be the sun. Those plants got scorched and they withered because they had no root. Oh. Oh. Some seed fell on the thorns, which grew up and choked the plants. <gasps> but, oh. Till others fell on good soil, where it produced a crop a hundred, sixty, or thirty times what was sown. Whoever's got ears, let them hear. Do you understand? Yeah, totally. Actually, not at all. No. Listen then to what it means. When anyone hears the message of the kingdom but does not understand it, huh? the evil one comes what? and snatches away what was sown in their heart. Why? This is a seed falling along the path. How wicked! Seed falling on the rocky ground is someone who hears the word and runs and sees it with joy. But since they have no roots, when trouble or persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. How disappointing. The seed falling among thorns is someone who hears the word, but the worries of this life and the deceitfulness of wealth choke it, making it unfruitful. Sin. But the seed falling on good soil is someone who hears the word and understands it. This is the one yielding a crop, producing more than was sown. I like your story. Well, I like you. <laughs> Let me tell you about the kingdom of God. Kingdom of God? Wow. In the kingdom... Happy are the poor. What? No. Happy are the rich. Happy, no. so happy are the poor. Absolutely. Because their hands are empty and I can no, give them the kingdom. No. In the kingdom, happy are the sad. Well, that doesn't make sense because sad people aren't happy and happy people aren't sad. That's why it's called sad and happy. Happy are the sad, for they'll be comforted. In the kingdom, happy are the meek. But I don't like being weak. Meek, not weak. It means surrendered. No, like never either. surrender. In the kingdom, happier than meek, for they will inherit the earth, not conquer, inherit. So you mean like, they just get it for free? <laughs> oh, I like that. In the kingdom, happy are the hungry. Uh, does that mean I can eat this? Happy are the hungry, for their happiness comes from hungering after what is right, and being completely satisfied. Yeah, I'd rather have a snack. In the kingdom, happier than merciful, for they will be shown mercy. But these people are wicked. In the kingdom, happier the pure in heart, for they will see God. But these people are sinful. In the kingdom, happier the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Oh. In the kingdom, happier those who are persecuted for righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Do you understand? So, this old kingdom of yours is just, well, it's just upside down. Or maybe your world is upside down. What? <laughs> And I like it. So don't let your hearts be troubled. And don't be afraid. I'm going to my father's house to prepare a place for you. I will come back and take you to be with me where I am. You know the way to the place where I'm going. Huh? But Lord, we don't know where you're going. So, how can we know the way? I am the way. And no one can come to the Father except for me. Come on, guys, let's follow Yeah, let's go! Where are you going? Wait up, Jesus! Whoa! He's Did walking on that? water! A miracle! Oh, oh, we only had five loaves of bread! Oh, now we have more than He's healing a leper! It's a miracle! He walks on the water, <laughs> but now he's not? He turns the water into wine! He's healing the deaf. He gives sight to the blind. Yeah, he he even raises the dead to life. He must be the Messiah. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna! Hosanna! Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the, the highest! You offend me. <gasps> what you Pharisees? You hypocrites! You shut the kingdom of heaven in men's faces! You yourselves do not answer! Nor will you let those enter who are trying to. How much will you give me if I hand them over to you? 30 pieces of silver. If you love me, you will obey what I command. And I will ask my father if he will send to you another counselor 
to be with you forever. I won't leave you as orphans. I'll come to you. The counselor, the Holy Spirit, who my Father will send in my name, will teach and remind you of everything that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and don't be afraid. I tell you the truth. One of you will betray me. No. What? what? No, Jesus, it's I, not I, me. I will not hear. Take and eat this bread. It represents my body, broken from many. And this wine represents my blood of the new covenant, poured out from many. I tell you, I won't drink of it again until I drink it anew. Father, everything is possible for you. Please. Take this cup from me. Yet not what I will, but what you will. You, you're one of his followers, aren't you? No, I, I don't know him. Who have you come for? Jesus of Nazareth. I am he. You, you followed him, didn't you? No, I, I told you I don't know him. You call yourself king. Then prophesy. Who hit you? Where is your kingdom now? My kingdom is not in this world, but from another place. You! I know I saw you with him! No, no, no! I swear to you, I never knew the man! yourself. You saved others, but you can't even save yourself. Hail to the King of the Jews. Oh, my God. 
not us. How is this the way to save us? know that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor demons, nor anything else in all creation can separate us from the love of God revealed in the Son, Christ Jesus! Death is your sting. Where death is your victory now? There. Peter, Peter, you must come see. Peter, do you love me? Yes. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them everything that I have said to you. And surely I will be with you to the very end of the age. Lord, are you going to restore the kingdom now? It is not for you to know the times or the dates my father has said by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witness. You will be my witnesses. And the disciples were all together in one place. They were praying on the day of Pentecost. Because I live, you will live, and you will know that I am in my Father, and you are in me. And I Okay. 
on their heads. He has not forgotten. They were he filled with a boldness a that they had never known before. Jesus. And this boldness led them out Jesus. onto the streets to tell the story of God. Do not my fear peace I leave you. out of you. Do not I, peace peace I give to you. God. I, I do not give to you as the world gives. No, so do not let your heart be troubled and do not be afraid. All things you will him, all not be burned just in the glory of all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Do you acknowledge him in all of your ways and he will make your paths straight. You will inherit eternal life. Men of Israel, listen to this. Jesus of Nazareth was a man accredited by God to you by miracles, wonders, and signs which God did among you through him, as you yourself know. This man was handed over to you according to God's set purpose and foreknowledge, and you, with the help of wicked men, put him to death by nailing him to the cross. But God raised him from the dead, freeing him from the agony of death, because it was impossible for death to keep its hold on him. God has raised this Jesus to life, and we're all witnesses of the fact. Exalted to the right hand of God, he has received from the Father the promised Holy Spirit and has poured out all that you now see and hear. Therefore, let all Israel be assured of this. God has made this Jesus whom you crucified, both Lord and Christ. I heard, I heard your words. And my heart is broken. What should I do? Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus and your sins will be forgiven. You will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. This gift is for you, for your children, for all who are far off, for all whom the Lord our God will call. And with many other words, he warned them and pleaded with them. And everyone who believed his message was baptized. And 3,000 were added to the number that day. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I baptize you. last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and daughters will prophesy in my name. Your young men will dream dreams. Your old men will have visions. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit and they will preach in my name. And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Let the King Jesus is the son. 
son of God. Whatever was to my profit, I now consider a loss for the sake of Christ. I consider everything a loss compared to the surpassing greatness of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For whose sake I've lost all things. I consider them rubbish that I might gain Christ and be found in Him. Not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ. I want to know Christ in the power of His resurrection, becoming like Him in His death, and so somehow to attain the resurrection from the dead. Not that I've already obtained all this, or have already been made perfect, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus has called me forward. Brothers, I do not consider myself yet to have obtained it all, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead, I press on towards the goal for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. I believe it is, then what we think about it will bear an eternal impact on our life. Because the story of God will never end. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Holy, 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 holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. And then I looked. And there before me was a great multitude that no one could count from every tribe, nation, people, and language. They were wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands, standing before the Lamb and before the throne. They had washed their robes white in the blood of the Lamb. And they were singing a new song. And they salvation, power, and kingdom of our God, and the authority of his Messiah, for the accuser of our brothers and sisters, who accuses them before God day and night, has been hurled down. They triumphed over him by the word of their testimony and by the blood of the Lamb. They did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death. You who are blessed by my Father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. I am here, the one that I adored is held forever in my heart. Come home. I'm making all things new. Everything has happened as planned. Good. Behold, I'm coming soon. My reward is with me, and I will give to everyone according to what he has done. I'm the first and the last, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I'm the root and the offspring of David and the bright morning star. Whoever is thirsty, let him drink. 
salvation of our God.